Well, come right on in. This is Tom Styles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I get some comments and some emails lately about shortwave listening. It's just not been very good. You know, people, you know, thinking that their antennas are bad or their radios are bad. Well, that's one thing about shortwave is you got to have patience because there'll be a lot of bad nights when conditions aren't very good, you can't hear anything, and then there'll be some good nights, and you just kind of have to hang in there, you know. What I typically do is uh, about this time of night, and it's um, almost one hour UTC, or my local time is almost 8 o'clock in the evening here in Florida. And like I say, what I usually do is I just come in, turn the radio on, start dialing around to see if it's active. If it's active, then I'll start looking for things to listen to. If it's not, yeah, I shut it off. Wait for, you know, later or the next day or whatever. So you just got to be patient. So I turned on the radio a few minutes ago, and I tuned in to China Radio on 9.570. And I'm using my Grundig 750, and I'm using my external G5 RV antenna. And weather conditions today in Florida were perfect. Great weather. So let's see what we got. Four. Loud and clear. Yes, meter is almost pegged. That's definitely China Radio. And I can go over to the website short-wave.info, which gives you a nice listing. Uh, what's on shortwave at the present time or anytime you choose. And of course I see that uh, 9.570 is China Radio from Cherik. I think it's in the Middle East. Uh, and it's, they're broadcasting in English. So let's see what else is on that maybe I can find, maybe I can receive. I'm just going to scan the band. Uh, Lebanon, Tennessee, yeah, I'm pretty sure I can get that, but what the heck. That's 9475. Oops, I went right past it. I'm going to turn the volume back up. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's... Uh, Coming out of Lebanon, Tennessee, which I usually don't have too much trouble getting it. Sometimes I can't get it. Now here is China Radio International coming out of Beijing, you know, right from China. So let's try that at 9425. And let's see what we got here. Turn the volume back up. Not too good. Beijing is not coming in too good. It's there, but it's pretty weak. Okay, let's move on down the frequency here. See what else this tells me about. Uh, Okeechobee, I should be giving that well. That's Okeechobee is in Florida. And that, for instance, is 7730. 7730. No. No, that's not doing too good. It's it's full scale, but I'm it's all noise. Which is some of my emails were complaining about conditions being no, uh, noisy. Uh, let's try WBCQ in Monticello, um, which I usually had trouble getting that. It's at 7490. Whoops. Yep. 7490. Get a week. 
noise level is way up there. A three quarter scale on the noise. So let's go down to uh, got China Radio at 7.425. Just scoot down here. Yeah, it's pretty weak. No, nothing there. Let's see what else. Um, just scanning the band. Let's try. Since we're at seven four, let's try down just below seven. Let's start at seven. Seven megahertz. And we'll scan down. And I'll be quiet. Something there, it sounds like it's on single sideband. Try single sideband. Nope, don't see it. Okay, let's get out of single sideband. I'm on uh, I'm on a narrow filter. Try to keep the noise down. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's supposed to be some kind of music or not. Yeah, it is. And of course, uh, in the United States, between 6.9 megahertz and 7 megahertz is where the pirate stations are. No, maybe it's not music after all. Not sure what that is. 6.930. Ooh. Go wideband. Can't quite make it out. Don't know what that is. There's that guy again. Now what that could be is I have a CB operator um, about a block from me got a huge beam antenna and when he uh, cranks up his transmitter it just splatters all over the bands so that could be him let me uh, just for grins let's go up there in the CB band try to remember where it is exactly Yep, turn the volume up. Hmm. 
Nope. Try a little lower to begin with. 26 megahertz. I don't remember exactly what the CV band is. Nope. Well, let me get back to the uh, web page, and um, I should be, this time of night, I should be getting stations strong, if at all, from Europe. So let me uh, kind of look here and see uh, if I can find, let's see, what can I find from Europe? Hey, bear with me. Because I was getting that China radio station like it was next door, and that's, that particular transmitter was in Europe, or Middle East. Radio Australia I shouldn't be getting, but I'm going to try it. Wrong time of day. No. Okay, let me, uh, let me update the page here, because it's now past the hour so let me do a, re a reset of this listing now that it's an hour later and let's see about nine megahertz nine megahertz what's up there it's not in the United States now here is a broadcast of China Radio that comes out of Habana. So that should be strong. And that's at 9580. Let me change the bandwidth. Yeah, it's there. A little garbled. Not bad. We will continue to see a path of stable economic development and an outreach of the development Okay, let's just scan up from there. Cuba, maybe, or South America. That's probably just south of me. Let me see if it's on the listing at all. 9930. 9930. Oh, that could be out of Tennessee. Yeah, 9930 is WTWW out of Tennessee. Nine nine three eight. Don't have a listing for that. Got a nine nine four zero. No. See if WWV is coming in good. Oh, yeah. That's booming in. 10 megahertz.
Like I say, you got to be patient. I don't know what that is, a strong carrier. No, nothing but a carrier. Maybe RTTY coming in. Eleven point five two zero. See what that could be, maybe. Eleven five two zero. Yep, another station in the United States. Possibly another Cuban station. Let me just look up that frequency. It's not in English. Come on, mouse. Move up there. Frequency 11695. And that says... Radio Free Asia. Hmm. Oh, I can see one problem with the website I'm on, which is short-wave.info, is I don't have my location entered. I got lost. Uh, let's we'll reposition that. And I've got to do a reload now. And I've got to enter a language. English. We want English, English, English. English, where are you? Oh my gosh, what am I doing wrong here? English. Go. Okay, now we're going to move, we're going to sort by strongest signal, and of course that's Okeechobee and Habana, Nashville, oh, that China radio station is one of the strongest according to this website, to my location. Okay, here's Radio Romania, that's one I wanted to try, 6145. Boom. Look at that. That's Radio Romania International at 6.145. And let's see what it's telling me. It's a bearing up from me of 40 degrees and it's 9,000 kilometers. Yeah, it says now that they've updated the website, so if you click on the transmitter site, it shows you where it is on the map. Okay, which is in Romania. How about that? Full scale. You know, I really like this website because of the graphic uh, presentation it gives you of the schedule, shortwave schedules. Now, some people have mentioned that some of the schedules are not as accurate as some other stations, uh, some other websites. But the graphical representation that it gives you is really handy. And since I can, since you can sort on what it thinks are the strongest six uh, stations for your location at a given time. That's really handy. So let's uh, 
Well, here's one we... I can't believe that it's showing this is a strong signal. I guess it depends on where the transmitter is. 6175. Yeah. That's the voice of Vietnam. Oh. That's, let me show it to them. Let me click on that and see it on the map. Uh, that's coming out of what looks like England. Strong, full scale. Too many white in the bandwidth. Pretty clear for sure was. And that's uh let me go back. And sort again. And this it says is seven thousand kilometers from me. Over in England area, that area. So that's coming in good. Let's see what else. Uh, now here's that new station, Global 24, coming out of Okeechobee. So I should get that nice and clear at 9395. And I'm not. And I have got seen some reports that um, this signal has uh, really dropped out. And a lot of people are having trouble co uh, copying it. That's Global 24. Let's check one or two other ones. Let's see. Boy, China Radio has a lot of frequencies. Radio Alice. Six three zero five. Nope. It's there. Something's there. Not very clear. So, you know, I, I got some stations. I, you know, I got China Radio blasting in, and I got uh, Voice of Vietnam blasting in, but a lot of the other stations were covered up by the noise so it's kind of a mediocre night for listening to shortwave and uh, the thing is about listening to shortwave you can have poor conditions and two minutes later everything's booming in you just never know let's just try let's try the pirate band one more time when that starts at seven zero 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 whoops one more zero We'll go down. Ooh, I heard something there. Right there. Yeah. Six point nine six zero. Change the bandwidth. Pretty weak. There's another one. Six point nine five zero. See if that's really a broadcast, international broadcast station. Let me put that in. Six nine five zero. 
Nope. There's nothing in the listing. So I think it's a pirate station. Yeah, it's there. The S meter is zero. Now, whoop. try to see if you'll. Give a name, uh, yeah, a name of a station. Just music right now. Well, I'll, I'll continue to list this station at 6.950 and um, stop the recording for now. And if I if I hear anything about as far as a call sign or what he calls the station. I'll put it in the uh, in the show notes or uh, in, in as a part of a remark. So that's that's the show. Uh, this is kind of you know what I do when I'm uh, trying to find stations. Just kind of in general, I use the short-wave.info website for getting stations to try, and then. If I don't have much success there, then I'll just start tuning through the bands. And it requires patience, lots of patience. So don't give up on shortwave. It's still working out there. There are good nights and bad nights. And good night.